Here's the power up sequence. Add a credit. down and give you a view of the front with the polished door and the polished legs upper body I'm gonna give you a distance to zoom in on the back box art on the side art there are some blemishes on the side art Zoom in on the door. And I'll move the camera so we can get close on the table. Bear with me. Alright, set up a shot. play full game field view here for a minute. Now the bump caps, I've ordered new pop caps. They should be in on Friday. So I'm going to be replacing these two bump caps. As well as the new drop targets. So I'm getting new drop targets and new bump caps this coming weekend. Probably can't see with the lights on, but that the other bump cap is worn. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom on the upper the lower play field. Got an extra ball, that's right, sweet. Alright, last ball, then I'll move to the upper play field. I'm trying to beat my best score here. Well, so much for that. Alright, I'll move to the uh, upper play field. I will point out where on the inserts there you can see on the 3,000, the 6,000, 8,000, and 10,000. That's about the only wear really on the lower play field of, worth mentioning. Let's move to the upper play field. Okay. Let's try again. Another game.
getting up on here you can see the uh, the yellow drop target banks there and upper upper play field let's uh, scoot over here you can see the very target there that lights up as you hit it it has a a pendulum arm and if you hit it hard enough it'll go all the way back to the end to the base and then it'll light up the yellow drop targets for uh, when you hit when you drop either bank it'll do multiplier uh, 2x 3x 4x 5x otherwise if you hit all four of the yellow drop targets you'll get a multiplier or when the very target is all the way back it'll light these for lit and each one will be a multi-target multiplier uh, you see the roll the uh, rollover lanes spelled buck if you get the rollover lanes that spell buck then the red target bank here red target bank the red target bank lights up for special and if you get all those down then you get a nice hefty bonus plus then it'll light the extra ball lane which is on a rollover lane up here which any other time gives you 3000 plus it adds to your bonus the bonus down at the bottom as the bonus adds there's two two banks of bonus there's a bonus for I, I don't exactly know how it works I mean I you have to forgive me but I think I think that the left bonus is added on the left uh, yellow target bank and the right is on the right yellow target bank somebody can leave a comment and correct me um, outside of that there's a kick hole up in the top right of the play field which again scores bonuses and uh, it is worth 5,000 and a bonus advance if you stay in the kick out hole for longer than five times in a row it, it lights up and gives you another bonus which I think is 30,000 points or 20,000 points I'm not, I'm, again I'm, I, I haven't read up on all the rules on the game yet myself so um, I think that's pretty much it unless we want to get a close-up shot of the very target let's see if I can play with the camera sitting here and manage to hit that very target at all or I could just drain. I'm running out of time here, so I'll try and make this brief. I'm going to come out on the top of the table. Come on. There we go. I hit it. If you don't get it all the way back to base, what it does is it, it has a... It has a uh, variable position in there that holds the arm in place. So and when you hit it all the way back, it has a solenoid that releases it, and it also releases at the end of each ball. So you know it's kind of cool to aim at that for a target as well. It's one of the features of the table. Um, really quick, do a look at the back glass. Again, the artwork on the back glass was hand, hand painted. Yeah. You can tell it's kind of risque for the time that it was made, but you know there are many, many, many good pinballs that had similar art at the time. And you can see the Gottlieb blue displays, which again they came up with. You know the whole catchphrase, "What's new is blue." The uh, there's only minor wear on the back glass paint, which you can see. Here, here, there's a couple of spots on Buck's, on Buck's shirt, and then you can't really see it right now, but on the third person display, the blue is starting to come off on there, but that's an easy repair as well. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed.